Guys, do you remember when Tesla first started making cars using its revolutionary new giga casting process? The idea, which Toyota has since said was engineering genius, was to reduce hundreds of parts into one single large structural part, which would be lighter, far more efficient to make, I mean, by orders of magnitude, and also stronger and simpler. But when Tesla revealed this information to the market, thousands and thousands of people bashed Tesla. They said this was a terrible idea because it would be so expensive to repair all these Tesla cars. Every single Tesla car involved in an accident pretty much would be unrepairable. I'm talking about a serious accident. And they'd all be written off. Therefore, your insurance costs would be through the roof. This was a disastrous idea. And I remember reading this hundreds and hundreds of times, this specific concept. People said this, if this was a good idea, legacy automakers like Toyota and Volkswagen would have already been doing it. If it was a good idea, it wouldn't have taken Tesla to be the first ones to do it. Ironically, now uh, Xiaomi and Xpeng and several different Chinese car manufacturers and uh, Hyundai's about to do it as well. Toyota's about to actually use giga casting. They're, they're crowing about it. They're talking about it in all their marketing talk, how great it's going to be. Ironically, for some reason, all of the naysayers who said it would be impossible to repair a car with giga casting somehow think that this doesn't apply to Toyota using them or any other manufacturer using giga casting. Uh, for some reason, none of them have been criticized in the way that Tesla was. I find this kind of ironic. Here's the thing. It turns out they were actually all wrong. It's actually cheaper to repair a car with giga castings than without it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. And I love, I love these kind of facts. I find them intriguing. And I really love when these facts rebut all the emotional comments from people who comment online, they have verbal diarrhea and just talk complete negative nonsense on a daily basis. They infect social media with their negativity, their vitriol, they're just general hatred of life and themselves. And they share that all over social media and it's like a virus. So this kind of information to me, it's like sunlight. The sunlight shines and all the vampires get eviscerated by facts. Usually they can't handle the facts or they just ignore them, pretend them, they, pretend they don't exist. Tesla gig castings actually make vehicle repairs easier and cheaper so there's a study that had, um, well, it wasn't funded by Tesla. So, yeah. Despite widespread assumptions, or accusations, I should say, about Tesla's gigacasting technologies, a new report reveals that large structural castings simplify both assembly and collision repair. For years, says Not A Tesla App, a pervasive narrative has shadowed Tesla's innovative gigacasting technology. Now, guys, I want to just share with you something. What I just read to you, that phrase from Not A Tesla App, for years, a pervasive narrative has shadowed Tesla's innovative gigacasting technology. This is, I didn't even read what they said before I shared with you what I just talked about. That narrative is so strong that other people are saying exactly the same thing as I am without actually even reading, talking to each other about this. It's so strong. And ironically, no one seems to have any problems with it now that Toyota has decided to do it. Anyhow, while revolutionary for manufacturing efficiency and for making much lighter cars, look at the weight of Tesla's cars versus some of its much, much heavier rivals, these massive single-piece castings were widely believed to be a repair nightmare, driving up costs and complexity in the event of a collision. However, a new report from Thatcham Research says that this narrative is completely false. It concludes that gigacasting can actually save on vehicle repair expenses. This finding is supported by none other than Wes Morrill, Tesla's lead engineer for the Cybertruck, who said this. 
If you simplify the body design with large structural castings, it's better both for initial assembly and for repair. Now, of course, when he made that comment, everyone just said, this is Tesla's marketing. It's not true. It's fake. Not everyone, but a lot of people. The traditional fears surrounding Giga castings centered on the idea, says not a Tesla app, that if a section of the casting was damaged, the entire piece would need to be replaced. And I've seen that comment everywhere. Damage it, the entire massive half of the car needs to be replaced. That means exorbitant labor costs and extensive replacement of parts, smaller marge. Guys, I actually shared the cost of these parts. We got information for all the cost of all these parts from Tesla, and it wasn't even expensive. None of these parts were actually expensive. The Thatcham research study presents a different reality, suggesting that the very design principles that help Tesla streamline production also simplify repairs and make them cheaper. The core of that myth was based on a misunderstanding, says not a Tesla app, of how structural castings are designed and repaired. Conventional vehicle bodies are assemblies of hundreds of stamped metal parts, welded, riveted, and bonded together, which takes a long time to do. And you can have mistakes, right? Hundreds of parts. And this is what Toyota is saying. That's why when they tore apart the Tesla Model Y, Toyota's engineers publicly admitted they thought it was engineering genius because of how many things it improved. Because all these parts create numerous potential failure points and connections between parts, which can cause forces to propagate during a collision, resulting in damage to unrelated areas. Repairing such a structure often involves sectioning, cutting, and rejoining many smaller components together. Now, as you can imagine, who knows how good that's going to be? right? Who knows how good that kind of a hodgepodge repair will actually be. Giga castings, by contrast, drastically reduce the number of individual parts. Tesla's approach simplifies the vehicle's body into a few large, structurally robust segments. This means fewer parts, less labor, fewer welds, and faster production lines during initial assembly. Now, the truth is, we've actually known for years that you can repair Tesla Giga castings, and it's often very frequently done. But it's just not talked, to, talked about for some reason. In collision repair, with fewer individual components and a more integrated structure, damage can often be more localized, or when a replacement is necessary, the analyst said, it involves fewer parts and repairing a traditional multi-segment body. Tesla uses advanced repair methods, including gigacast sectioning, to replace only damaged portions of the casting rather than the entire piece. To put that into numbers, the study found that partial repairs on a Tesla Model Y's rear gigacast resulted in savings of more than 2,000 euros or 2,700 US dollars. Compared to similar repairs on a Tesla Model 3 with a conventional multi-part steel body that was built like other normal cars. In other words, it is far more cheaper to repair a car with giga casting than without it. The implications of this study are much more profound than you might realize, especially for both the automotive insurance and collision repair industries, and even for the end user yourself. Your insurance premium should not be high with a Tesla. It's illogical that they are. Insurers wary of potential total loss scenarios due to giga casting damage will likely look to reevaluate their models with this new information. So hopefully this means that the insurance costs for cars like the Xpeng G6 and the X9, uh, the X9 actually uses the largest gigacast, single piece gigacasting in the world. Even cars like, cars like Xiaomi's Su7, uh, they're using gigacasting as well. It's not just Tesla's insurance costs that should come down, they should as well. Repair shops, which might have anticipated requiring specialized equipment and training for giga castings will likely find the streamlined design when approached with new techniques easier and faster to repair than traditional cars. Tesla's first principles approach to engineering focused often on its manufacturing innovations also extend its benefits to the vehicle's lifespan. While multi-section bodies have been the norm, Tesla is always challenging and breaking and re redefining those rules. And we have to give Tesla credit where credit's due. I mean, they have redefined this industry. If the world's largest car manufacturer is following them down this path, Hyundai have said they're doing the same thing. 
Hyundai. And many Chinese companies are doing exactly the same thing as well. They call it different things like die casting, but it's basically tens of gigacasting. Then this was a remarkable success story because it massively reduced, look at the weight of the Xpeng G6 as well. It's also quite a light car, along with the Tesla Model Y, compared to their rivals, which are significantly heavier. And most of that comes down to the way they're made with gigacasting. Now, eventually, I think our insurance premiums should come down because EV insurance premiums are sort of ridiculous. They're based on unknowns. You know, insurers just don't have that, that information of years of knowing what's going to happen with cars that get hit that have a gig casting. So they've kind of charged an, a premium that, in, that basically includes that fear of the unknown. That should start to change over the next few years. And isn't it interesting to see quite often the naysayers, the people who just talk negatively, they're very often wrong. They think they're right. They present all the facts in a way that they think is logical. But actually, it's sort of like looking through the window, right? There's an amazing sunset. But the pessimist, all he can see is the dots on the window. It wasn't clean yesterday, so he misses that amazing sunset. Thanks for watching.